Golden Retrievers are wonderful companions with a kind and gentle nature. Because they are so friendly and easy to train, they've become one of the most popular family dogs in the world. And yet, they are not suited for every person and every household. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the five main reasons why you should not be getting a Golden Retriever. Welcome back to the Femory Golden Retriever Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FemoryCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could ever possibly want to know about the incredible Golden Retriever, then how to become a high level canine leader that raises perfect Golden Retriever companions. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Golden Retriever video. So let's dive into today's video and we're going to get started with the first important reason why you should not be considering getting yourself a golden retriever. And that reason at number five is that if you want an outside only dog, even though their beautiful long coats protect the golden retriever from the elements, they are not suited as outside only dogs. Goldies are dedicated canine companions who love nothing more than being around their people. Contrary to many other larger dog breeds, they absolutely need interaction with their loved ones to become and stay happy and well-balanced dogs. If you bar them from sharing your home with you, you will cause them a a lot of quite severe in some cases emotional suffering and not only that when confined to the backyard or a kennel golden retrievers can become very destructive and very noisy they have a very good loud deep bark as your neighbors will definitely be able to attest should you choose to keep them locked out as well given the opportunity their high and normally joyful energy will be channeled into destructive behavior chewing up your garden furniture digging up all your flower beds or ripping apart are any kind of bed that you may put inside of their kennel. So if you are looking for a dog who will not mind living exclusively outside, you shouldn't be considering a golden retriever. Which takes us on to our reason in the number four spot, and that is that golden retrievers are very heavy shedders. There is no doubt about it. The characteristical, beautiful long coat of the golden retriever is a joy to look at. However, should you decide to share your home with a goldie, you might see these lovely golden hairs not only on your dog, but everywhere in the house they get on carpets on dog beds on sofas and last but not least on everybody's clothing and these golden hairs are remarkably visible especially on dark surfaces so if you like wearing black clothes like me then you've got to beware of the golden retriever now you might think that confining the dog to say the main sitting room of your house will keep those hairs in that room but i promise you rest assured these fine long golden hairs will find a way to travel around the house on people's socks and shoes and as a result they will easily spread into the other rooms of your house as well even if the dog never actually enters those rooms our reason in the number three spot is if you've got an issue with a golden retriever loving the water now back in the day in scotland the golden retriever was developed as a breed by crossing the existing retrievers with water spaniels these breeding efforts resulted in an excellent hunting companion whose job it was to retrieve waterfowl shot down by hunters in the marshland of Wash in the marshlands of scotland this task required the dog to be more than willing to jump into lakes rivers streams and locks and therefore they absolutely love water and it is deeply ingrained in today's golden retriever genetics of course this makes them fun companions for games of fetch that involve the dog to jump into nice clean bodies of water however the dark side of the golden retrievers love for water is that they will be almost magnetized to any body of water they can possibly find and yes deep muddy puddles as well as ponds that are smelly stagnant water are equally attractive to them as nice clean lakes this means that your beautiful golden retriever dog can change color in an instant and they will not hesitate to happily shake their fur after returning to you from their little bath thereby uh, effectively completely staining all of your clothes with mud and stinky water so unless you are willing to invest quite some time in washing your golden retrievers fur and paws after outings you might want to look at another dog breed our reason in the number two spot is about how much they love and need exercise 
Like their Scottish ancestors, today's Golden Retrievers are still superb working dogs. Athletic, agile, and always up for a nice game of fetch, a good run, or a long walk. As talented sporting dogs, they excel in all kinds of canine sports and activities. For example, agility, dock jumping, tracking, obedience training, swimming, and even diving. These energetic dogs are equally happy to accompany you on any activity in the great outdoors, like jogging, trail running, hiking, or cycling. Now, whilst this is a wonderful feature, it might not be what you are looking for in a dog. Perhaps you would prefer a calm canine companion who is more happy to relax on the couch with you for hours at a time, or you want to enjoy just a few shorter walks during the day together with a lower energy dog who does not require a ton of exercise. If that is the case, you might want to consider a calmer, more sedentary breed, like, for example, the Newfoundland or a Bull Mastiff. And my reason in the numbers spot, one spot is that Golden Retrievers love everybody. Now, the golden loving everybody, humans and animals alike, is a wonderful feature in itself, provided you are looking for a family pet or a super loving, mellow companion dog. However, if you require a reliable guardian breed, then you should definitely not be considering getting a golden retriever. Their sweet, kind-hearted natures make them unlikely to do much more than sound an alarm at best. Should you live in a neighborhood that is prone to burglaries or robberies, you will need more than a golden golden retriever and you cannot rely on your golden to protect you your family or your home in such a situation you might want to look into other large garden breeds that are more protective by nature and have a higher intimidation factor for example maybe you might want to be considering the german shepherd or the doberman in case you are a very experienced owner maybe even some a breed like a rottweiler might be a perfect fit for you now perhaps you have small children in the house and you did consider the golden retriever because they are i'm right so considered to be fantastic family dogs and whilst this is absolutely true there are other breeds that are equally good with children but also have a much higher intimidation factor and excellent guarding abilities for example the bull mastiff we mentioned earlier or even the english mastiff so even though the Golden Retriever is an amazing breed, these loving companions are not suited for every person, situation or household. They do require quite a bit of time and dedication. But who knows, even if the Goldie right now is not the perfect choice for you, that does not mean that they will never be a perfect choice for you. A few years down the line, you might find yourself in a perfect position to happily bring one of these amazing Golden Retrievers into your home. Now, I hope you did enjoy the video today, guys. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Golden Retriever videos coming here to this channel every single week. So I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Golden Retriever Show.